The last couple of years have seen the return of some much needed composition to the CPU market, with Intel and AMD vying for your business with increasingly desirable new processors. The trend at the moment seems to be a new Intel range every October and a new AMD range every March, and so this month it's time for the new Intel 9th Gen Core family. This launch is quite unusual for Intel though, as the new 9th Gen Core family uses the same Coffee Lake architecture as the 8th Gen family, and it's built using the same 14 nanometer manufacturing process. Instead, rather than focusing on improved efficiency, many of the new 9th Gen models have more cores. For instance, the 9th Gen Core i7 9700K has an extra two cores over the 8th Gen Core i7 8086K. However, it does lose hyperthreading, so it can only work on eight threads at a time versus 12 on the 8086K. Even so, being an eight core, eight thread design, it should be faster than the six core, 12 thread 8086K in heavily multi-threaded applications. There's also a 9th Gen Core i9-9900K. This is really interesting because it's the first Core i9 on the Z platform, and its 8-core, 16-thread design gives you the best of both worlds, providing a highly potent mix of high thread count and high frequency. However, at the bottom of the range, the new 9th Gen Core i5-9600K has seen the least changes, as it shares the same 6-core, six 6-thread six design as the old 8th Gen Core i5-8600K, with a mere 100 MHz bump in base clock and 300 MHz bump in turbo speed. The only other difference between the 8th and the 9th Gen Core processors is a return to using a solder-based TIM between the chip itself and the heat spreader. As a result, the new 9th gen CPUs run several degrees cooler than the 8th gen models, which should give more headroom for overclocking before the CPUs overheat. In theory, if you already own a motherboard based on the Z370 chipset, you won't need to upgrade that either, as the 9th gen CPUs share the same LGA 1151 pinouts as their 8th gen predecessors. However, most Z370 motherboards will struggle to support the Core i9-9900K especially if you plan on overclocking. More on that later. However, there is a new motherboard chipset, the Z390, to consider. This has support for USB 3.1 and integrated Wi-Fi, although it's still up to motherboard manufacturers to include Wi-Fi, so you won't find it included with all Z390 boards, especially the cheaper models. We put the three new 9th gen Intel Core CPUs through their paces, not only against the 8th gen Intel Core chips, but also AMD's Ryzen processors. To make the comparison as fair as possible, all the systems were tested in a very similar configuration, with the same CPU cooler, graphics card and RAM. We chose the ASUS motherboards because these are some of the most popular boards with scanned customers. The first performance test we ran on all of the CPUs was the image editing program GIMP, which is part of the RealBench benchmark suite. GIMP is only single-threaded, so historically is run best on Intel CPUs due to their high IPC and frequency. It's unsurprising then that the three Intel CPUs with the highest single core turbo frequency turned in the fastest results, with the limited edition Core i7-8086K taking pole position. Next up was encoding an H.264 video using Handbrake. This application is heavily multi-threaded, so it should come as no surprise that the CPU with the most cores and threads, the new Core i9-9900K, is the fastest, with a significant 16% lead over the next fastest CPU, the Ryzen 7 2700X. This benchmark also shows the worth of eight physical cores versus six physical cores, plus hyperthreading, with the Core i7-9700K turning in a 13% faster score than the Core i7-8086K. The multitasking test in RealBench runs several applications in parallel, so it's not only very processor intensive, but also runs better on systems with fast memory. As expected, Intel's Core i7 and Core i9 processors recorded the fastest scores in this benchmark, with a significant 23% difference between the Core i9-9900K and Core i7-8086K. Once again, the eight physical cores of the Core i7-9700K proved a strong point, with it achieving a 13% faster score than the Core i7-8086K. 
The Cinebench benchmark is based on the popular modelling, animating and rendering application Cinema 4D and measures how quickly a CPU can render a complex 3D scene. Until recently, the Ryzen 7 2700X was the fastest mainstream desktop CPU. The Core i9-9900K is the new champion, speeding past an impressive 13% faster. Intel's Core i7 processors have been the king of the hill for gaming for many years, but thanks to its combo of high turbo frequency and large cache, the new Core i9-9900K proved the fastest CPU in 3D Mark. This is particularly pleasing to see, as often CPUs with lots of cores, such as the X-platform Core i9s, are often actually worse for gaming than CPUs with fewer cores. That said, every CPU shown in this graph is awesome for gaming and would make a great partner for the latest generation of NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 series graphics cards. Although not based on a new architecture or manufacturing process, we were hoping that the reintroduction of a solder-based TIM would result in cooler running CPUs and therefore bigger overclocks on the new 9th gen Intel Core processors. And to some extent this is true, with the new CPUs running approximately 6 degrees C cooler under load than 8th gen CPUs. However, with different core count, cache sizes and frequencies, it's not an entirely fair comparison. What is fair to say though is that the new CPUs are great overclockers, as we were able to overclock our sample Core i7-9700K and Core i9 9900K to 5.2 GHz, a noticeable improvement over the previous best overclocking Intel CPU, the Core i7-8086K, which typically maxed out at 5.0 GHz. You can see how much of a performance benefit overclocking has in the graph on screen now. You do need to be careful when overclocking the Core i9-9900K though, as despite it having the same 95 watt TDP as the other CPUs, when overclocked it draws a huge amount of power and so puts a lot of strain on the motherboard VRMs. In our lab, none of the sub £200 Z390 motherboards could handle an overclocked 9900K, as the VRMs overheated causing windows to be sod. The lowest spec Z390 board we would recommend is the the ASUS Strix Z390F Gaming, with higher end models running cooler still. At least that means for the first time in several generations, there's a clear difference between budget, mid-range and high-end motherboards, so make sure to take care when choosing a partner for your Core i9-9900K. The Intel 9th Gen Core processor family has been one of the worst kept secrets for some time, but that doesn't lessen the impact of Intel adding in two extra physical cores to the two topmost models. We're still not entirely convinced about the Core i9 branding of the flagship 9900K, especially as there'll soon be a Core i9-9900X, which has a completely different spec and uses the larger socket 2066. Even so, it's hard not to be impressed by the 9900K's performance, whether in single or lightly threaded applications in games, or heavily multi-threaded applications such as rendering. It delivers unprecedented performance for a mainstream processor. It also appears to have great overclocking potential, just make sure you choose your motherboard carefully. The other two new 9th gen CPUs, the Core i7-9700K and Core i5-9600K are less impressive, although with extra cores the 9700K is a welcome step up from the Core i7-8700K and the limited edition Core i7-8086K. Scan computers sell the complete range of Intel 9th gen processors and compatible Z390 motherboards, whilst our expert engineers in 3XS systems can build you an awesome new PC. Check out the full range at scan.co.uk. Thanks for watching this test bet. Please let us know your thoughts on Intel's 9th gen core processors in the comments section below.